Okay, so my son's been getting a few requests to make some cutting boards. He made one for somebody and they liked it so much and other people liked it so much they've requested more. So just real quick, we thought we'd go through his process of gluing it together. This is one of the larger cutting boards we just glued it up a while ago. But uh, when he got done with that, he had a bunch of scraps left over. Wasn't quite sure what to do with them, but he got the idea of making a small cutting board. Maybe just something that you might want to throw in the kitchen to cut cheese on or cut sushi or something on. So we're going to use all our little end scraps and glue it up and make a little itty bitty baby cutting board. So we'll just go through the clamping process. We got our homemade clamp that we came up with. Can't take credit for that, full credit, because I saw somebody else make one on YouTube. I just can't remember who it was or I'd give them credit. But uh, here we go. We're using tight bond wood glue. We bought it by the gallon. We just repurposed uh, this container and put it in here, the squeeze container. Tight bond original. Yep. Only putting glue on one side, finger spreading. I like finger spreading better than any of those spreading apparatuses because then you can tell how thick the glue is where you need more. There you're good to go. I've laid some parchment paper down, some non-stick parchment paper on our glue board and I've tried to attach it to our clamps on the inside of our clamps. The only problem is with non-stick parchment paper, the tape won't stick that I use to try to tape it on with. So we'll see how it works out. He usually just, my son usually just clamps them up without paper on it, but I thought it might save a little mess on our clamp. All right, we got the glue all smeared all around. Now comes the fun part. I'm trying to get them all slid in there and get them clamped before the glue dries out too much. So the words we're using are alder, mahogany, cherry, Walnut and that last piece I just put in I'm not sure what it is some scrap of exotic wood I was given it's cut off from a cabinet shop and they didn't know what it is and I'm not sure either It's pretty stuff. It's pretty dense. I think it might be some breed of mahogany, but I'm not sure okay. Now you move the clamps over and just slowly Squeeze everything in. You squeeze these the long clamps first. Get some tension on it. But the problem with gluing this many slices is they all want to slide while you're gluing them. So you gotta give it slow pressure and straighten them up as you go. And then a little more. And straighten them all up. And then the other side. That's good. Now that we've got some pressure on there, we can start torquing down the long clamp. This is going to be good because it pinches all the boards down flat so that we don't have to plane as much off of them to get a nice flat surface on them. Torque this down, good and tight. We made this out of 3 quarter inch uh, cabinet plywood and 3 eighths inch all thread couple of wing nuts and washers. Okay, now any of the joints on the ends that aren't holding. It looks like we don't have room for the C-clamps, but those are all pretty close. On the larger ones, we'll put the C-clamps on the end between each joint, just to give it a little bit extra, but this little one it doesn't look like we're going to be able to get in there, so the big plywood clamp will have to do. Loosen that one up. You got more strength in your fingers than me. Kind of just 
cut off that ring. Give away your own strength, huh? I think I stopped on that and you kept going on there versus so tightening the bolt. This, but since this one is a smaller one, it'll be fine. Okay, why don't you crank these two to get them even? There it is, all glued up. Now we'll leave it clamped for a couple hours. I won't put any stress on the joints for at least 24. And then we can scrape the glue and start sending them through the planer square and round the ends and hit it with the router. To be continued.